Jacqueline Shalom, my brothers and sisters. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Crystal. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a protective hairstyle. Um, if this is something that you would like to listen to and watch, please continue. So when I went through COVID, my hair fell out. If you guys didn't know, my hair shredded so, so, so bad that it was depressing that my hair was coming out like that after I was um, sick. Me and my daughter hair came out, but mine's came out more. Hers was just shredding. Mine was actually coming out in clumps. Yes, for people that don't had it, y'all know what I'm talking about. But neither here nor there, I am here, I am back, I am better. I'm trying to see how I can have this way y'all can see what I'm doing. I might have to sit back here. Yeah. So, um, I just got out of the shower, my hair has already been washed. I'm gonna just comb through it. That's just water, y'all. I didn't uh dry it with a towel or nipple. I wanna just pick it out. I don't know if y'all can see that water, but I can. I just wanna pick it out. Basically what I'm gonna do, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my um, black styling gel. And this is Ampro Pro Style Gel. This is the regular hole. So, let's get into it. I don't know if I'm going to be doing a lot of talking, you guys. If I don't do a lot of talking, I'll probably do a voiceover, put some music over it. But basically, I'm just going to gel my hair back, slick it all the way back. And yeah, I have to move my hair in sections with the gel. Cause my hair like to curl up <laughs> as soon as I put gel on it. Black gel, white gel, curl gel, it don't matter. So I'm just sectioning it so my hair can lay smooth and won't be in clumps. And just continue the process. It does take a lot of gel for this hairstyle so if you don't like gel in your hair, this might not be the hairstyle for you. And my hair already trying to curl up. This is not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna just take my brush. And brush it all the way back. <laughs> Big old forehead. Look at that face. Look at that beautiful face, girl. You are gorgeous. That's right. Tell yourself, you are gorgeous. I hate the fact that, well, not hate, because that's the word I don't use. But I don't like the fat of my hairline. I'm standing out a little bit. But all that shredding, what I was talking about in the beginning of the video, all that shredding has stopped. My hair is not shredding anymore. So, I'm going to take um, some black rubber bands to put my hair in a ponytail. You can use like a um, one of those little... Let's see. No, I ain't going to use that one. I'm going to use this one. So basically right here, I am getting some of the big wide rubber bands and I took about three of them and I'm just brushing my hair back using my hand to get it in place. Chai, bald head, scallywag, call it what you want to call it. Chai, it gonna grow bad. It gonna grow bad, honey. COVID just did me so wrong. But I'm just using my hand and slicking some more uh, hair gel on here to get it in place. Like the mo gel I put on, the mo it wants to curl up. So now I'm tying it up. Chai boo, honey, and trying to scratch it. <laughs> baby, I'm trying to scratch that little bald head, baby. I'm brushing it at some more. Because they keep rolling back up, old little bald head lady. If they keep rolling back up, honey. So. so now I'm taking my pump it up, what we call it spritz, to spritz this hair down, honey. Child, look, y'all probably didn't see if y'all caught it. It's trying to roll back up. So I'm just going to spray, spray, spray. This stuff is so sticky. For all the people that use this pump it up, y'all know what I'm talking about. This stuff had my hands so dang on sticky. I was like, oh my God. 
haven't used this in a long long time so now i got me some uh edge control it's the organ oil it smells organ oil it smells so good y'all i am just like a person that love to smell stuff this i will just keep sniffing <laughs> i love the smell of this organ uh oil smell all their products so now i'm taking my wrap and just wrapping it up so we can get into the next product process you can mold your hair the night before I recommend molding the night before and it will be so much easier to do. Now I got to sit up here with this hot dang on blow dry on my dang on head. Giving me a headache. Jesus fix it Lord. So now I got the hair and uh, it's the thigh braiding hair. It's pre-scratch and it has three in here. And I'm going to get ready and take those out there. What you guys see me doing. I'm struggling child. These hands. Look at them hands. Lord, them hand don't want to open it they just don't so right here i got the hair open i'm just taking the little ties off of it so i can get everything ready to be combed and stretched out so we can get into the process oh lord these voice over some serious y'all i'm up here uh, eight meal sandwich and some chips while i'm doing this so right here i'm just showing you how i don't put the hair tie on the child i'm doing the ghetto thing because my daughter ain't here to hold it so i can get ready and braid it child i done clipped it on y'all i don't put the spongy around the cell phone holder and baby we about to get into it so right here i'm just showing you how i separated the hair into two sections and then i'm gonna start braiding so right here i'm just braiding up the hair i am doing the over braid now under braid under braid would be better so i'm just showing y'all that i done braided up try the arms they screaming for dear jesus where's my daughter because she could have plaited this up for me daughter come back home so i'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side plait it up it's gonna be three plaits i'm showing you two of them right here now y'all can't hear my son he need to turn that dang on game down so i'm just putting a rubber band on the end of it to keep the hair in place and i did that on all three braids so we're going to take our big two plaits and we're going to take this part and you're going to hook it on your ponytail and wrap it so now you have these two and i'm just going to put one on this side and one on this side kind of see how that's going to go but before we get into that part i got third ponytail and we're going to Hook that on the ponytail as well. Like this. Now this ponytail, you're going to take this and wrap it around your hair. Okay. So we're going to take that and start wrapping it. That way, your ponytail in the back is not showing. And I think it's just more cuter this way for me. Um, I have worn it before without this ponytail part in the back. Let's tuck that. Maybe next time I will um, mold your hair first. That way your hair will lay down. If you have um, curly hair, there's always curling up every time you do something. And that'll help your hair stay in place. Edge control on. Then I use the whole thing for this one little hair hairstyle. I think I should have had dried my hair first when I got out the shower. That's what it is that's causing my hair to curl back up. So make sure that your hair is completely dry. I haven't done this in a while, but make sure your hair is completely dry when you get ready to gel it and stuff. That way your hair will stay slick down. But we're going to do what it do. So now we have our ponytail secure. And I just um, put some more um, edge control on those pieces that was curling up. And we're going to take our first plait. Kind of put it before you put your pins in. Kind of play with it and see like where you want it and you can scratch it out and stuck from here kind of scratch your plait out that's why i didn't plait it too tight you can kind of 
so it can look fuller. I'm gonna scratch this one out too. Then I'm gonna just play with it a little bit, kind of see where I want it at, where I want to lay it. trying to see how I want to have my play. Okay, we're going to go that way. This one, it looks fuller. So, I'm going to take this one and start wrapping it around and kind of get it in place where I want it at. And the excess hair, I'm just wrapping it and tucking it around that braid in the back and then I'll take a bobby pin to secure and put it in place this does require a lot of bobby pin so get you something that's not gonna be sticking you in your head This um, other piece around, and once I do this, it's, I'm starting to feel the tightness of it. the same thing how I did this one took it I do have some hair gel which I'm going to love use that is an apple so that's those could put these on as I was braiding but just gonna hook it hook it like this and then get that backwards Like that, put it on your bobby pin, and then stick it in where you want it to go. And with the bobby pins being black, you can't <laughs> playing with that girl. <laughs> Stop playing with that girl. For real, it's a grown woman over here. Stop playing with the girl. We're gonna put our apple in with the black bobby pin. What I was saying, y'all. Um, by hooking it on like this, you can't see it because your hair is black. Bob pan is black. And want this one yet? Mm, well, we want this one yet. Kind of want to, because I'm going to have that other one. You want to try to have it where it can hang this long one right here. It's cute or whatever. Let me start exiting. So I'm not gonna use these on there. I'll keep those. These are cute. What y'all think? What y'all think? Is that a little bit too much? 2022 coming we gonna be too much it's time to be too much we ain't gonna keep saying this too much i ain't gonna do that girl do it do it girl live life girl do it be happy girl
So basically, I open it up, y'all. A brooch. Am I saying that right? Ooh, be careful. Jesus, I think I just stuck myself in the head. This one ain't giving. So, we know what to do, don't we? We know what to do. So, I'm going to flatten it out and I'm using bobby pins to um, secure this one. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on post notifications. And I will see y'all in the next video. Shalom.